Spiffy Guy, and I'm back here with another episode of Around the Home. And this time we're sitting here in the corner, and we're going to continue our series on irrigation. We're going to talk about how we connect to the hose bib. Let me bring the camera on in, I'll show you what I got going on. Alright, so you can see I got my hard line here. Be sure to check out the first episode where I talk about the three quarter inch PVC that I put in for that hard line. Um, this is the connection that's going to go up to the hose bib. It is going to connect to all the filters and the timers and all that. I intentionally left it long here because I don't know what all those parts are going to be and how long they're going to you know, be and where I'm going to need to hook up here. So I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of cutting, perhaps put a 45 in there, but I need to put all the junk on the hose bib. So let's do that. Okay. You can see I have all my junk attached to my hose bib real quick. Let's talk about hose bibs. You need to make sure that when you turn your water on your hose bib up here, doesn't leak. Mine was leaking back here by the packing nut and I had to fix that. Okay. It's important because if you're going to leave this line on, then you want to make sure that you're not dripping water everywhere. So let's talk about the uh, all the gadgets that I got on here. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I'll put all the links below of, of where I got all the stuff, so you can you know see what I did. Um, I picked up this information from Growing Your Heirlooms. I think I mentioned that in the last one, but uh, it was a good source, and so um, that's kind of what I'm basing my stuff off here. All right, so the first thing I have here is this is a backflow protector. Uh, it's also called a vacuum brake. Uh, I bought this one at Amazon and because it was metal and worked pretty well. It came with a little set screw here, by the way, and I took that set screw out. You don't need it. Um, next, we have uh, this uh, Y, and I liked it because it had these big handles on there. Um, that way I can run a hose off of here and have irrigation on there, and then I can control the flow of what I need to do. So if I want to water something else with uh, just a hose, I still have access to that. All right, so then the next thing we do is we have a, a pressure reducer, okay? And what that's going to do is it's going to reduce the pressure, oddly enough. That's what it's called. Uh, we're going to come from whatever my house line is, which I think is like 60 PSI, 70 PSI, something like that, and it's going to bring it down to a uniform 25. This is important for your emitters, so you don't blow out your emitters. Some stuff, um, some of them don't work well uh, if if the pressure is too high, like above you know 30 or 40. So pay attention to that when you put it in. Uh, the next thing in here is I have a filter. It's got a removable filter screen, and then I have my timer. So let's talk real quick about timers. This is a manual timer, okay? I'm not a huge fan of automation when it comes to this. I am paranoid about leaving this on all the time that this is gonna leak and I'm gonna end up you know, flooding out my house. But this system is gonna be easy enough to come, turn the water on, turn the timer to whatever timer I want, and then it'll water the garden. I can walk away and go out to dinner, I can do whatever I want, and then I just need to remember to turn this off occasionally. Um, it, this is the way I want to do it. You can do it where you leave this on all summer and you have an electronic timer that does it. Um, that's your choice, however you want to do it. Um, I did pick this one up. It was a little bit more expensive because it had metal housing. And I figured if it was going to be outside, uh, it might stand up a little bit better. So you can see all of this kind of, kind of, you know, comes off quite a bit here. So what we're going to do is we need to make a junction between our three quarter inch PVC. Let me get that in frame here, and uh, the timer. Okay. So to do that, I've got this part right here, and this is a. Um, it's a little adapter. It's a metal adapter that has the hose bib on one side and a three quarter inch PVC uh, connector on the other and it will screw on there. So you could use that uh, in place of a union because you should be able to kind of fit it around there and um, get it into place. So I just need to measure it. You need to make sure though that you measure correctly and you get it all in there. And so uh, I don't know, I gotta figure that out. So let me try that next. All right, so we've done a little bit of testing here, and you can see I got a little bit of water dripping out of here. I just turned the system off. Uh, I am having just a slight little drip here. I've been working on tightening that up, but so far everything has worked uh, very well on it. What I ended up doing was I, I couldn't really get this angle right and have it 100% on, so I did put a union in. What this allows me to do is break this, and this whole section will go free, so I can connect that up 
to the uh, the hose mechanism and then line up the union and it'll suck it all together uh, that works well the unions you know they're real nice I like them they're about three 350 a piece so they're a little expensive as far as PVC pipe parts go but uh, you know it is what it is so so far it, it seems to be working out all right and um, you know there you go that's sort of uh, the whole thing so from here I just need to put in all my poly pipe and stick in my emitters so anyway I hope you like that stay tuned for the next part and just remember that life's an adventure so go out and have one Thank you.